Hello everybody and welcome to the video. This is going to be a test for the steel snare drum that I've been building. Uh, if you saw the last video I already showed it off and if you follow my Instagram and Facebook you will have seen pictures of it. Uh, for those of you that haven't seen the last video or haven't followed me on Instagram, here is a quick rundown of the parts I use for the snare drum. First up I had to put some new heads on it so I got Rima Ambassador coated. Uh, Evans snare side 300, pearl snare wires, stag throw, stag throw, uh, strainer, whatever you want to call it, um, and I had to replace that lug and all of the top tension rods, which were all stag as well. Um, and what I didn't mention in the last video actually was it has this little strainer on the side. And uh, you can see it on the underside of the snare. And it actually makes the um, snare drum sound a lot better, as you'll see in the test. I normally use a Yamaha Stage Custom, which I've had for uh, quite a few years now. Uh, I've rewrapped it myself, and it's not the best job, but I think it looks alright. Let's show that off as well. Here it is. I've got an Evans uh, Level 360 EC dot, a reverse dot, sorry clear slash, well it's more hazy I guess around the side and then it's coated in the middle. It's got the original Yamaha uh, strainer slash throw off, the original lugs, the original tension rods. Um, I I'm pretty sure I, I did replace the snare wires on this um, because the ones that, it, that, I, that it had when I bought it weren't amazing. I don't, I don't even know if this has got a brand on it, it doesn't say anything on it. I think it was just some cheap ones, but you know, they, they sound fine. It sounds a lot deeper than the steel snare drum. The steel one's got a lot more of a, like a crack, like a whipping sound to it, which is very nice, actually. This Yamaha, actually, I have to use a, an O-ring on, which is sometimes a little bit annoying, but it, you know what, it makes it sound good, but that steel one doesn't even need it mostly because of that little dampener that's got on the underneath of the, the top head. I've also uh, bid and won uh, a, per a Pearl ELX export snare drum on eBay. I got it, it was 20, 26 pounds uh, plus a fiver postage, so 31 quid overall, that's not, that's not bad. It's in purple lacquer, which is beautiful. All it really needs is just a fresh head on top and it'll be pretty good maybe a little bit of a clean up and a service we'll see I'll make a video on that when that arrives it should be arriving like next week I think anyway here's the snare test <laughs> Thank you for watching the video guys, I hope you enjoyed, remember to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, if you want to follow my Instagram and my Facebook links will be down in the description, see you next time.